Okay, our last performance, and certainly not the least, is Buna Muhammad, dubbed the voice of a generation. Buna Muhammad is a critically acclaimed award-winning writer and performer with accolades including a playwright residency at Theatre Passé Mural, a short story published in a Penguin Canada anthology called Piece by Piece, and various slam poetry titles credits including winner of the 2007 CBC Poetry Face-Off Best New Artist Award. His popular YouTube videos have received millions of views to date, and as an artist, he has toured and traveled across the world, speaking alongside some of the most influential scholars and entertainers of our time. He frequently conducts writing workshops and seminars, sharing his experience and expertise in spoken word storytelling with mainly youth from all walks of life. Please help me welcome Buna Muhammad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. In the name of the one whose names are so beautiful, so suitable to begin, every syllable is for him, al khalaq al insan, creator of mankind and jinn, every noun, verb, and synonym I dedicate to him. He who taught mankind the names of all things and so to begin, all praises to him. To be or not to be, your being is still for him. For he is one with no father or son and the only one worthy of your prostration. He who controls the moon and the sun, every atom including Adam, may peace be upon indeed the best speech is derived from the Qur'an and the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed shaitan because I came from a prophet who was the best of creation. So let me begin with the greetings the angels gave to him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, brother. One. Only one brother acknowledged my existence. Thank you, brother. How come when I came up, nobody said, aww? You guys didn't think I was cute? <laughs> Only Layla gets the aww? What's going on? I went to Disneyland too. I know what it's about. Huh? Can we give a round of applause for all the kids and everyone who came before us tonight, mashallah? They did a great job. Uh, it's very nerve wracking to be up here. Not for me, because I'm, mashallah, you know, I'm, I'm good. But for everyone who came out here and, and did their thing, you know, it's really beautiful to see. And, and I really want to thank uh, Tawheed Center and Safan Marwa for facilitating this today. May Allah reward them. Give them a big round of applause as well, mashallah. I'm going to share a few pieces for you guys. This first piece is called Signs. Let me take a moment to show some kindness to the folks who thought blindness was a disease that affected the eyes alone. I promise I won't judge you. I barely know how to love you. And like fools, we preach rules, but we don't even follow our own. Everybody needs comfort. Some people find it in this. Some people find it in that. And some people just don't find it at all. But this world is full of signs from the moon to the stars and the sky, from the bees and the bugs, like a seed in your blood, like a fiend or a drug makes you need to look up and question what's up, why you deal with this stuff when your spirits are crushed and you trek through the rough, but like thunder it struck, said B, and it was all the signs that were sent, they finally make sense. You feel the torment, so you need to repent. When your heart is cement, it's hard as a brick, cause your soul is worth more than the dollars and cents. All the money in the world couldn't buy you happiness, cause verily it is in the remembrance of Allah that hearts do find rest. And do not get it confused. I'm not a scholar or a preacher. I'm just a regular dude who makes mistakes too. But we are reflections true. So I can't talk about me without talking about you. And who knew we would end up in a place so confused where little boys want to be like little girls and little girls just want to be abused. Where they terrorize the truth, mentally arrest the youth, even though there is no law but Allah's and mama didn't raise no fool and who knew that expecting the world to treat you fairly because you think you're a good person 
would be a little like expecting a bull not to attack you because you're a vegetarian. You can't begin to learn what you think you already know. In man's own ignorance, we forgot that women once watched us grow. And before that, you were a tiny ball of flesh without any bones. And before that, you were just unknown. And now look, behold, you have the arrogance to assume that you just made it on your own. But what were you but a chewed piece of clot before you grew? And who knew you would trace your ancestries back to a zoo? You must have really come from apes with your monkey point of views even the devil believes in God so what does that make you and it's true sometimes I feel like Noah preaching to a packed empty room nobody want to listen until we start rolling out two by two I'm a big fan of Abraham never break up from Jacob Joseph had the kind of beauty that you couldn't find in makeup Moses was to Pharaoh what stones are the arrows and David to Goliath what truth is the silence following Solomon I get down too. contrary to popular belief Jesus is my homeboy too so peace be upon the whole crew came to teach what we never knew even though few caught the groove they never turned blue never confused what was true even if it was a taboo never came for fame or praise but to praise who they prayed to Whew. and who knew that an unlettered man from the middle of the desert would change the whole world from darkness into heaven you may have every title every big shot degree but you still can't explain Alif Lam Mim. Allahu Akbar. and who knew there would be so many views and ways to explain that he's closer to you than your jugular veins. So if you complain that God must be cruel, can you give Allah all that he gives to you? From the breath that you breathe to the trees that you feed, from the eyes that you see to the sea that you eat. If I cut you, you bleed, then you heal magically. We're the illest machines manufactured for means. The concept's extreme, but this world is a dream. It's not what this seems filled with lies and deceit the proof is serene so wake up smell the dean praises be to he his oneness supreme totally unique in no need of sleep not like you or me his greatness complete no partners no mates no fathers no sons no discount three in one just Allah Azza wa Jalla even the birds sing his name the Lord Lord of all the worlds, glory be to He and to Allah is our return. Zakumullah khair. Thank you very much. I actually have a, a CD of my poetry uh, that I smuggled all the way from Scarborough. Mashallah. Anyone here? From, anyone here from Scarborough? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, that's. I'm in Durham now, so I'm Pickering. Much better than all you folks there. Alhamdulillah. That's good. Uh, but I have a CD of my poetry. If you're interested, after the event, inshallah, uh, I'll be selling it somewhere, probably illegally, outside in this, in this area, out here. Uh, if you'd like, you can purchase one, inshallah, $10. And the beautiful thing is, 100% of the proceeds of this CD sale are going towards me, inshallah. <laughs> hey, but brother's got to pay rent, you know what I'm saying? We got to do what we got to do. I'm going to share um, one, one last poem with you guys. And, you know, it, that, I think it was the, the, the second young lady who went um, last. I can't remember her name. And she spoke about social media and, um, you know, the influence of seeing so many different celebrities. And, you know, we, don't, we know for young people today, there is a lot of social pressure, especially with social media. When you're on Instagram and you're on Facebook and Twitter. How many of you are on, on Facebook? Okay, four of you. That's cool. I guess Facebook's not cool anymore. Uh, how many of you are on Twitter? I'm just doing market research now. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, who's on Instagram? Okay, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Okay, that's... 
Anybody on MySpace? It's just me. I'm the only one left? Okay. Just me and Tom. We're riding it out. Okay. So, I mean, if you are on social media, you can definitely empathize with that notion that when you're scrolling through your timeline, you know, you're seeing what is society promoting? What are the things that are deemed popular? What are the things that are worthy of our clicks or our likes, right? Oftentimes, these are things which are demeaning to ourselves and our souls. And as Muslims specifically, sometimes when I think about the travesty that has been committed against us, that we have such a rich, beautiful history of fantastic people, people who literally change the course of history over and over again. And we don't understand and we don't know these people the same way that we know the, the, you know, the next NBA star or singer or, or actor or actress, whatever the case may be. We as Muslims, we have our own heroes. We have a legacy which we have inherited. And for many of us, we don't know these famous names. If anyone here could tell me, for example, this is a question I'm going to ask you. Who can tell me the name of the poet of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Do you know the poet, Alayhi Salatu he had his own, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he had his own poet that he would travel with that was his designated poet. What was, his, what was that poet's name? Okay, you guys just yelling at each other or what's going on? Well, brother, what did you say? Allahu Akbar. Give his brother a round of applause. Here you go, brother. Gift for you. Should I? Should I? No, no, no. We'll be safe. This is what you get when you, when you, when you learn things, mashallah. You get free prizes. That's $10. Just pay me later, inshallah. That's fine. That's good. I take check, credit card, bus tickets. I take presto, whatever you got, inshallah. We, we just put it through the card. Alhamdulillah. That's good. How about this? Let's make a deal, okay? I'm going to share this next poem. In this poem, I name a, I have a, a sequence of companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. These are his companions that, you know, uh, really inherited the religion. And through them, we are able to understand it today. I'm going to name a, a whole bunch of them. If anyone here can write down the entire list, I'll give you a CD, inshallah. If you can write down the list. I don't see, nobody has paper, pens, nothing. We, Oh, you have phone. No, no, no. You could write it in your phone. Yeah, you could write it in your phone. That's fine. Okay. But I'm only going to give away two. So the first, the first guy, the first girl, or I'm going to go out of business. What's going on? You guys are going to bankrupt me over a poem? Come on. Okay. The first brother, the first sister to give me a list of the entire names of these companions, I'll give you a free CD, inshallah. Okay. This piece is called Heroes. My heroes never wore tights or appeared on cartoon channels. They had long beards and kept clothes above the ankles. No comb in the streets like beasts at night looking for thieves. My heroes fought their egos and narrated a hadith. And some of my heroes were once bad guys too. Baby killers and highway robbers if you only knew what they knew. But you got to know a lie in order to recognize the truth. But what's the point of knowing truth if you can't back it up with proof? So to prove my heroes were united by a single point of view. Why else would they choose to go against what their fathers used to do unless they knew that paradise was worth being abused? The best of views if only you choose to walk a mile in their shoes. Oh, what I wouldn't do to kick it with Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Listen to him recite the Qur'an, sad to go into Ruku, yeah, that would be cool. But me and Hamza, we would kick it old school, joke about the jahiliya, silly things they used to do. If I could pick my own crew, Salman al-Farsi would have to be in it, an honest seeker of truth. May Allah bless his spirit, have tea with Julay Beeb, cookies with Anas Ibn Malik, anything to pick their brains and gain a better understanding. Could you imagine taking a class with Abdullah Ibn Abbas, a scholar by the age of 10, just a boy amongst the men, and if I had one friend, it would be Abu Bakr Siddiq. Someone to hold you down and to really represent. When Sumeya held her chin to her killers, did she think? We would name our little girls after her to teach them strength. And who cares about these rappers? We got Hassan Ibn Thabit. Dude was sick with the flow. Can't believe you didn't know that Zaid was a slave who became one of praise. Lived the American dream when America was Cree. Irma bin Khattab was a G. Held it down for this dean, a real superman. Made the devils cross the street. And if I ever had beef, 
I would call up Khalid bin Walid. He was a ride or die homie amongst the cellar for Salihin. And if I just close my eyes, man, I could almost see Bilal amongst the cold morning breeze. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. For surely Salah is much better than sleep like Abu Sufyan after he embraced the deen on this earth. Tolha was a walking shaheed and Jafar gave his life for this ummah's victory. May Allah be pleased. Grant them all the highest levels of heaven like Uthman ibn Affan whom even the angels were shy in front of. Aisha was a genius. Every word was like a thesis. Mother to all believers. Pure like that of Isa as Khadija held the fetus of Fatima who was the teacher of Hassan and Hussein sons of Ali who were slain. Man you gotta know these names because these people paved the way it's a shame we know more about them monkeys on tv this is our history all the sacrifices that they made for me gave to me a legacy that i could be proud to keep said b it was decreed that brother we were only like 300 deep but with the angels on our side who could even compete although he was a man of peace who preached speech before the sword he waged a war against error the warship of fake lords came to restore the deen that Ibrahim laid before extreme in his need to feed the mesquite and the poor yeah he was hardcore with his taste with his face to the floor off praying so long that his feet became sore uh, cause he got down like that and told all the rich they should pay the zakah and make the salah and spread the salams and declare ashhadu an la ilaha the difference between Jannah and Jehennam like the mailman just delivering a message. Who else do you know with a swagger that's blessed, the best and perfected, corrected the method. Medina state of mind coming straight out of Mecca. Champion companions, homeboys were go-getters, did it bigger and better had followers before Twitter. The leader of leaders, a mere two believers, enjoined all the good and forbade all the evil. My hero taught people that we were all equal. The best of examples outline what is legal forever. I'm grateful for all that he came for. May blessings and peace always reach to my mentor, my teacher, my brother, my hero, my prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that's how it goes so tell everyone you know that this party don't stop till the son of Mary come home I'm pleased with my Lord and Islam as my deen may we die by these words Allahumma amin Zakum khair thank you very much Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh